On average, a rescue at the pocket wilderness takes about five hours. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Volunteer crews must hike on foot to that injured person, taking with them a lot of gear and also a stretcher. But crews may soon have an easier way to rescue those in trouble. Betsy Golden joins us now with that story. Betsy. Well, there have been more than 15 rescues at North Chickamauga Creek Gorge State Natural Area or Pocket Wilderness since June. Two of them were this month. Now, there could soon be a way to make their rescue a little easier. Just a quick drive north from downtown Chattanooga is North Chickamauga Creek Gorge Natural State Area, or as locals say, Pocket Wilderness or the Blue Hole. It's part of the Cumberland Trail State Park. From the beginning of January until where we are now, we're already about 40 calls a year, um, mostly having to do with people who have fallen in the pocket wilderness. The increasing popularity of the trail has led to an increase in rescues, like this one earlier in the month. So officials with the state park want to continue working on a path for emergency vehicles into the park towards the Blue Hole. It would be a good idea if it's done where it blends in with the environment and, and the setting and a natural area. Amy Maxwell with Hamilton County Emergency Services says the calls are year-round, not just in the summer months, and it takes close to 50 volunteers to rescue someone. And it consists from medical calls from people who are hiking and have overexertion to to actual injuries due from the rope swing. People need to be accountable and take responsibility for their own safety too. But when accidents do happen, volunteers answer. And it's hard for, for individuals to not only hike two to three miles in, but they've also got to carry up to 50 pounds of extrication equipment, stretchers. The hope is that the trail will cut down on the time volunteers spend on each rescue. Bobby Fulcher, the Cumberland Trail State Park manager, says the trails will be a minor impact on the site, and a top goal is protecting both the ecology and the aesthetics of the area. And now there is a trail adoption program to help maintain the Cumberland Trail, and Volkswagen was the first corporate company to adopt a trail in Hamilton County, and they're still looking for both corporate and private volunteers to adopt. And if you'd like more information, log on to our website, newschannel9.com.